What's up everybody? We got a Kubota Z726X here and today I'm going to show you how to clean the carbon canister air filter. One thing to mention is that before I do any work on my equipment, I always make sure to clean it up first. For this machine, I just use some standard car wash soap, some degreaser, rags, and soft brushes. I use a garden hose, I don't use a pressure washer, and I towel dry it with some old bath towels. It's much more pleasant to work on a clean machine. Again, we're doing the carbon canister air filter and I'm doing this because I'm at 300 hours, but this service is recommended every 100 hours and you're supposed to replace the filter every two years. Let's go ahead and get started. Your carbon canister is located underneath, under here. So you need to remove that and there's a filter inside of it. You clean it with soap and water. Um, to remove it, these two bolts need to come out. I think they're 12 millimeters. And then it should drop down and allow me to take the filter off. 12 millimeter, pull these nuts off of here. It's kind of just like a U bracket. Oh, I didn't see, there's another one up here. This is actually the one that's holding it. Not this one. That one can stay on. So I'll take those two out and this thing should come off of here. Or once you got your bolts out, this canister's kind of loose. This is your filter right here. This little air filter here. So I'm going to blow away some of this stuff with compressed air and then I'm just going to slide this off of here. Take it inside and clean it up with soap and water. Okay, so to get the canister filter off, there's like a rubber. It's basically sitting on a rubber um, kind of thing and you got to pop that rubber off and try to be careful not to rip your filter. Otherwise, you're going to be buying a new one. And that's it. And then once that's off, it's really hard to do with the camera here. That's it. So then you slide this off. And this one's pretty cracked up. I will probably order another one of these. I will clean this one up for now and put it on. I'll probably order another one of these. I imagine they're very inexpensive. But that's it. All right, so I cleaned this one up, but like I said, I'm gonna order another one. I'm gonna put this one back on there for now, just so that it doesn't not have one on there. And I, I can technically run it if I need to, but you can see um, this one's pretty damaged. It's not ripped anywhere, but it's just, it's pretty tired. So um, we're gonna slide it back on here like so. And then you're just gonna fit it right back onto your canister. It's still a little bit wet. You're supposed to dry it out before you put it on, but uh, it's gonna dry out when it's sitting here, so. And then you just slide it right back onto that. Right there. Okay. So that's it. That's the canister filter cleaning. And uh, we'll just leave that on there for now. And I'll put this U-bracket back on to hold this canister up. And I'll get another filter. Thanks for watching. And if you're interested in other zero turn maintenance videos, check out my channel. I have a playlist dedicated to the maintenance I've done on my Kubota zero turn. I'll keep adding videos to it as I do more and more maintenance. If you enjoyed the video, hit that like button. It'll tell the YouTube algorithm to send this video out to others like you. Also, subscribe to the channel if you want to get notifications of my new videos and check out the description for some of the links to the things that I use during the video. Thanks again.